Spending Memorial Day under the stars. Utah is a great place since it has 15 dark sky state parks. That's more than any other state in the country. Oh yeah, Fox 13's April Baker visited one of them in Wasatch County and she shows us what this unique designation brings to the area. Here's our, squi our sky quality meter. This is what Sierra Schaefer Funch uses to determine if the sky is dark enough at Jordanelle State Park. Sierra is a naturalist with the Utah Department of Natural Resources. I have a dark sky reader that I get to lift up to the sky and take a reading. But it's a lot more difficult than that. Sierra first has to travel to specific GPS coordinates. The conditions have to be just right, too. I can't have clouds or smoke or anything like that in the air, or it messes with our readings. It also has to be dark outside. You'll need to use your imagination for that one since we did our reporting during the day. Sierra says she takes these sky readings four times a year, usually one per season. It's part of what Jordan L State Park has to do to maintain its dark sky status. They earned it in 2021 from the International Dark Sky Association through its lengthy certification process that requires members of the public to write in letters pledging they'll preserve the dark sky area. A lot of work, but a big step for tourism. I do think we see a lot of people that come in and want to come and just see the dark skies. That's actually one of the purposes of the being a dark sky park is to bring in more astro tourism and have more astrophotography. Although this designation has its perks, it can be taken away too. A lot of construction is popping up around Dordanelle State Park and it already has had an impact on dark sky readings this year. They're making our skies a lot brighter and I, I saw that with those readings that I just took. They were a little higher than previous years. And you may have guessed it, but too much light is the biggest threat to dark skies. Sierra asks for people to turn off any unnecessary lights as well as have them pointed downward or shielded. She says Wasatch County has measures in place to prevent light pollution and to keep Jordanelle State Park dark. Coming out to these parks and seeing the dark skies is really almost life changing and you'll get to experience something new and maybe learn something about yourself. Reporting in Heber City, April Baker, Fox 13 News, Utah.